Hey everyone, welcome back. You guys actually get to see my face for once because I got a really awesome video for you. I've never done this before, but we're going to give it a shot. And it's actually been a while since I've done this. I switched to Windows 7. We're gonna see if I can use Windows 7 right now with all of today's platforms. I'm gonna make it possible. I think I'm, I think I can do it. I know I can do it. All right, let me show you the computer I'm gonna be doing this on. All right, so the laptop we're gonna be doing this on is a Dell Inspiron N5030. I am extremely excited to use this computer. This computer was designed for Windows 7. It came with Windows 7. I believe it's got three gigabytes of RAM. Um, oh gosh, and some sort of AMD processors, processor inside. We'll, we'll figure that out. Um, let's open her up here. Just love how I can't ever <laughs> get this open. All right, there we go. Here it is. It's a little dirty. I paid $10 for this computer. So this thing is really, it's really cool. I love it. It's got Intel Pentium inside. This is going to be interesting. Well, we're going to load this thing with an SSD and then we're also going to load it with Windows 7. Yeah, I'm extremely excited to use this. I, I cannot wait to use this computer for Windows 7. So like basically my plan is to, I just want to use Windows 7. I want to use my OBS Studio, Spotify, all that stuff to be able to record when I make my gaming videos and things like that. I'll have a separate capture card that I use for it. Um, and etc. So we just need to get Windows 7 up and running first. So let's get started. So I'm at that point where I need to remove the keyboard and I was able to see the hard drive a little bit right here, but I feel like I was tearing the keyboard up trying to get trying to get it out. I want to be super, super careful with this computer too, because we're going to use it for the main purpose of using Windows 7. We just, we want to use Windows 7 and basically daily drive it no matter what. So let me keep digging in and see what I can do. So I learned that switching to Windows 7 is not going to be an easy task at hand, especially even trying to get this hard drive out of this laptop. But I know that I can do it. I know that it's going to be possible. And I just, I can't wait. I'm so excited. All right, so I pretty much figured out how to get the hard drive out. I said, ah, we're going to stop messing with the keyboard. And I was able to slide the hard drive literally out of this little spot that it was in. It wasn't even screwed in. There's no caddy, no nothing. It was just sitting in there. It's kind of strange, to be honest. But then again, what are you going to do? So I'm going to see if this uh, NetTech SSD that I'm putting in here is going to slide in. And just like that, it does. So I don't even need to mess around with that anymore. Of course, I don't remember what keys went where. But here we are. I didn't even blow it out or clean it out. I think it'll be just fine. It looked a little rough, but shouldn't be too bad at all. So now that this is pretty much snapped down and in here, I'm going to remove my Roku remote that I'm watching TV on while I do this. I want to put some of these screws back in. And I know a couple of these screws were small screws that went in kind of like st strange spots, which is just fantastic. So I believe, I believe I know where some of these went. Some of them I do not know where they went. we got that hard drive installed we can now put our battery back in and begin you guys we are at the pinnacle don't even know if this computer turns on so we're about to we're about to find out at least i i had a feeling that it might work it's been a while since i turned it on so it looks like we have everything we need here i'm gonna press f12 for boot options and then i'm going to use my windows 7 all editions uh drive here I'm gonna plug, boom, bops that in there, and we are gonna install uh, Windows 7, of course. Um, let's see, camera cannot focus today. I do not know why. So we will have to reboot this. I'm gonna start installing Windows uh, 7, here we go. So my cat, Ghost, she wanted to say hi. She say, I am 10 years old and I am a ragdoll breed. I am the sweetest cat in the world because there's, you, it is, I grew up with her. I got her when I was, um, like, I was like four, I was 14, I was like 14 years old. I don't even know, 
she was like three months old so do 21 do do, do the math um but uh, yeah she is the sweetest sweetest thing in the world and uh she all she wants is love and attention so yeah i just had to show her show you her really quick it's not booting not uh not sure what's happening so I was still having trouble with booting from the thumb drive, so I decided that there is a Windows 7 uh, starter installation on this SSD. We're going to boot from that and try to see if we can install Windows 7 from there. As you guys can tell that it's having to restart, it, it cannot find this thumb drive. The thumb drive will just will not show up for some reason. And so for, here we are. I'm trying to get the restart. I might have to install the network drivers for this laptop to try to get Windows. So this is how hard it is to get Windows 7 on here. And you can tell that it's it's update. It's it's up. It's updating the drivers, which is awesome. That's great. Looks like it's going to put the network card in, so I can just connect straight to my network, get this device, uh, get the thumb drive just going, so that I can install Windows, the original Windows 7 Home Premium that comes with this laptop onto this computer. That is my that is my end goal there. I sat for numerous minutes and just trying to get this thumb drive to read. I don't understand why it's not reading. I don't know if the USB port is messed up. I mean, I'm gonna end up trying a new USB port here in a second, but th again, the end goal is to get Windows 7 Home Premium activated and we're going to use it like mainstream on the network, OBS Studio, you know it. Let's continue trying. Yes, we got it. Just got just got the thumb drive to pop up. So I just need... <sighs> All right, so as you see in the error code here, it's because it's a Windows 32-bit or x86-based installation of Windows 7 Starter on the SSD that I am trying to get the thumb drive to be plugged into and go use Windows 7 Starter on here as an operating system to just execute the Windows 7 Home Premium installation that I'm trying to install is basically what I'm trying to do. And because the Windows 7 Home Premium software is an X64 based, which originally came with this Dell Inspiron, it won't, it's, it thinks it's not compatible when it really is. And this is the problem that I'm facing right now. Check it out. So out of nowhere, it just started booting from the thumb drive. And uh, we're on day two of this project. I was get, getting my uh, computer over here booted up that's got the ISO image on it to create, but my, my it, st it started working. It's, it's doing it right now. I'm, I, <laughs> I, I don't know. So we're gonna proceed with this installation and here we go. And it's got completely updated. So I won't have to worry about sitting there and updating it. It's already fully updated for me. This was also on the Internet Archive as well. So all you have to do is go to the Internet Archive and they got all the ISO images there for you. And that's that's basically it. That is literally everything you really need to know. So I'm going to delete, kind of just delete everything here. Oop, kind of like just making everything new and fresh. We'll let this install and we'll be right back. actually have been waiting for this moment. It's like, whoa, whoa, man. <laughs> I miss Windows 7, I really do. So simple, simple, smooth, luxurious. No bloat, no problems. I'm gonna wait for Windows 7 to finish finalizing the settings and we'll continue. Half an hour and it is finally, look at this, it's finally loading in. Check that out, oh my gosh. This is gonna be awesome. It, it's, oh, there it's Microsoft Edge, get out of my way. We are not, well actually we're gonna have to use you for the first half. <laughs> so now I'm gonna try to get Google Chrome and see how that goes. Something gets started. Yes, run all this stuff. I don't care. No, I'm not gonna sign in. 
I know. I just realized I'm not connected to the network. Oh, uh, no. <sighs> okay. All right. We need to go online and get the, the driver update stuff. No Windows 10 is not supported on my Inspiron. Okay. That's why we're switching to Windows 7. Can't you just give them all to me? Okay. Atheros, Wi Fi, Real to Card. Just download it all. Put the drivers onto a disk, and we're going to just oop, try to do this one hand in here. Oop. And here we go. All right. There's our applications. We're going to start with the first one. Hope that it's going to be the network one. Yeah, this is the chipset. All right, we got Wi-Fi network connection. I'm also going to let it check for updates. Now we're going to try to download Google Chrome. Just so you guys know, this is a this is really dangerous and do not do this. Windows 7 really should not be used on the network anymore. So you got to be careful of what you're actually downloading. You need to make sure that it's literally from Google. It has to be from Google or whatever actual site you're downloading it from because there's a lot of sites that are literally not it so you got to be very careful because see this device won't receive updates from google because it's no longer supported i'm going to download chrome manually it should download for us we're going to open that up i don't know why it needs to do that two times for but um okay maybe that's maybe it won administrative privileges even though i thought it already opened up it's interesting. Okay, we'll let this get done downloading and set up with Google Chrome and yeah. All right, Google Chrome is now installed. All right, um, we're not gonna sign in because I don't wanna do that. Now we're going to literally just type in uh, download OBS Studio for Windows. And right here, download OBS Studio. Again, this is what I wanted to do with this laptop, so we'll see what it does here. We're going to download the installer. It's, it's downloading. We'll open that when done. And then we'll set up that first. All right, there it is. Let's click on it here and see what it does. All right. Oh, no. I made so that you can see my screen a little bit better on this computer. Again, I'm trying to find a version of OBS Studio that can run on Windows 7. And I found that version 29.1.3 does work. I'm using the Internet Archive for this one. Um, perfectly safe to use and download from um, the Internet Archive is also called the Wayback Machine as well. Um, this is going to take a little bit to uh, download because i got a lot of things running on the network right this second. But we should be okay. I'm going to let that open when it's done. How is that even possible? So now I'm downloading another one from Internet Archive. It's version 26.0. I think this one should work. Probably won't, but we'll find out. Okay, looks like it's ready to be installed. Oh, oh, look at that noise. Well, the OBS Studio install, and then that's basically what I would do on this computer is use my external capture card and record my uh, videos and uh, live stream stuff like that. It's working. That's pretty cool, at least for like recording uh, the videos, and then I can, you know, put them on a thumb drive and then take it to another computer upload or even upload through YouTube. Basically just simple stuff I want to try to do with uh, Windows 7 right now. Okay, let's see it's op. Let's see if it oh oh there's an icon. Ah uh, we're we're just gonna remind me later. We're going to do that. Sure. Oh, I don't want to do that right this second. But let's see.
Oh, look at that. It's it's working. This is just this is just lag in my uh, capturing thing right now. It's actually much faster. Nice. Yeah, it looks like it's working. Let me make, let me actually make sure that it is working. It's in an MKV file. That's that's okay. We're gonna just delete that, and we'll leave that be. Well, awesome. This is working. I'm happy with that. Sweet. We'll axe that out. And uh, another thing I do is uh, I uh, pretty much like to listen to Spotify. So let's see if Spotify works. We'll just uh, do download Spotify for Windows. So I know there's an older version of Spotify out there, but we're going to just use a web version of Spotify, and that's perfectly fine because the web app still works, so I'm perfectly okay with that. Um, well, let's, uh, I just want to make sure YouTube videos play, so let's, uh, let's go to YouTube. And would you look at that, YouTube is loading just like a charm. I love it. A little sluggish because of the software I'm using to capture right now, but it is running. And I am so excited. And look at that. We're almost at 600. Can we get there? Can we get there, everyone? I appreciate you all so much. Thank you for making my dream come true. All right. Anyway, so that's pretty much usable. Windows 7 is pretty much working the way I want to. I mean, there's, I mean batteries fully charged means I can take it anywhere on the go. I'm pretty excited with that. Um, I mean, I could change my wallpaper to anything I really want. I mean, it's, it's pretty simple. I mean... I love it. Everything, I mean, nostalgia is, is just beautiful. Um, I, I mean, I don't have an editing software, but at the moment I really don't need one right this second. But daily driving this is going to be a breeze. I can download any uh, antivirus software that, or if I pay for a subscription or something like that, you know. Um, I believe McAfee still supports Windows 7 maybe, so I, I don't have, I'm perfectly fine doing that. I mean, I don't know if Windows Update is working or not, but... Oh, oh, I guess it is all updated. Also, an Intel Corporation driver. Install that right away. Awesome. That's I'm 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 happy with this build. It's it's working the way I want it to. I'm just very happy with you know the way it's running. I mean the nostalgia behind it. It's just it's working great. Yeah, of course, again, this is unsafe to really do in uh, 2024, but. I mean, as you're safe and you're not clicking weird pop-ups or anything like that, or downloading kind of some secure files or keeping passwords or anything like that, or you know what, even don't even connect to the network at all if you don't want to use, if you're not really going to use a network, just stay disconnected, you'll be even safer, you'll just be even safer. So again, I'm going to use Windows 7 on this, and it's really up to you on what you would do with Windows 7, but I do not recommend at all connecting to the network um, if you're going to use Windows 7, but... Uh, Again, this video is just to see if it's possible to even download OBS Studio or, or I was able to download any desk too as well and still use Google Chrome and watch YouTube videos. I didn't know that you could still do that. So, well, everyone, well, I want to say thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe and thank you for becoming a supporter. I, you guys are supporting my dream because I'm at a rough time right now and it's uh, YouTube is my everything. You guys are my everything. So, I want to say thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. And I will see you all in the next one. Cheers.